the addressing root causes ACK program in South Sudan seeks to build the resilience of 19 communities of diverse and sometimes conflicting ethnic groups in four counties across Jonglei State and the Greater Pibor Administrative Area to endure economic or conflict-induced shocks through peace-building and economic development work. <laughs> Building on care international ski lessons learned in South Sudan, the ARC theory of change focuses on the interlinkages between economic development, peace building, and social cohesion. The outcome was focused on the establishment of peace committees and peace clubs that are local level groups of community members whose role is to support local peace building, prevent violence and to address grievances inclusively and constructively, primarily within communities but also between different communities. <laughs> Our purpose of forming cattle camp peace club, this is a major core of conflict. It has been child marriages, false marriages, cattle raiding, revenge killing, you know, come through use in the cattle camp. So for us to, to achieve uh, peaceful coexisting among the communities in the cattle camp, we must make sure that this use in cattle camp as peacefully, this use in cattle camp does not practice cattle raiding, does not practice uh, child adoption. So we manage through bringing together different categories of leadership and, uh, and, and give them the capacity on how they deal with uh, issues which are facing them, especially across the other communities. So linkages um, through other communities, we, we, we manage to, to, to do some dialogue across the Denga community and Murule community that was done in Anyadi. There had been mistrust between the Dingabor and the Murule communities. But uh, when CARE came in with this project, uh, we actually went and conducted a dialogue for the first time for a trade corporation or trade union to officially open the cattle trading unit in, in Anyadi which was a very milestone and everyone from the town used to go to Anidi buy kettles and goats. It was of a great importance that this social fabric that was lost between Murle and, 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 and Boer community was built. In collaboration with the UNDP, the program trained the police special protection units, community chiefs, investigators, social workers, prosecutors and judges based in Bor on sexual gender-based violence, focusing on transforming behavior in discharging their roles and responsibilities in upholding justice, protecting human rights and peace in their communities. The project benefited the Special Protection Unit and the police in Hale, in Jongole State because of the capacity building that was lacking by the staff. SPU staff were involved in the training. Also, uh, the awareness we were being taken through the radios and also uh, the training which were take place involving the sheep, the traditional sheep, buying courts, the traditional courts, and uh, I caught that capacity building also, it has supported on how to manage uh, the survivors of sexual gender based violence and children abuse on harmful traditional practices cultures. 
we as peace co uh, com commission together with the peace committees care international do provide us with uh, financial support to resolve the conflicts one of them was the conflict of uh, konyang that was between community called guala and koro but we engaged them Yen <laughs> When the Jeren Ku Shirman Payamat Tiakani, when the Jeren Ku Chirman, a third Koptiakani, 